uh, for StackRox. So we have the 16th of May and I am joined by my co-community uh, manager, Michael Foster. My name is Matthias Meidinger, so welcome. Um, we have not a lot of um, uh, not a lot of topics today, so it's going to be a rather short one. Um, maybe Foster, you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure. So sorry for the week delay, everyone. That is mostly my fault for not scheduling meetings properly. But uh, next month, we will be back at the same time, second Tuesday, with a couple updates. So first, let's get to Dane's question, because 4.0 just got released. Uh, I think there's some questions about migration. That really is the reason for the 4.0 change. It's one of the major ones. Obviously, it's a breaking change. So Dane had a question of, will upgrading to the new external Postgres central database ingest the existing internal database? Matthias, I think you wrote the answer. Yes. So I wrote the answer. So the question, so there is a differentiation we, we need to make. So generally, we have a migration process in place. So if you are using the old database, so 74 or basically since the beginning of the product, and you upgrade to 4.0, we have a database migration in there. So there will be a basically seamless migration as far as I'm concerned. But if you have upgraded to 4.0 and have a running Postgre installation as part of the product and want to migrate to an external Postgre, so basically bring your own database, you would need to do that migration by yourself. So uh, our product will not automatically refill the new database. So um, that might, so the question would be to Dane, do you remember which scenario it was that you were concerned about? Well, we went from 3.74 to 4.0. Um, I, I actually did it since I asked this question. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and it, it went fine. And as far as I know, it migrated everything for me. That's great to hear. Yeah. Did you do a yeah. backup before you migrated as I well? Did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Overall, no issues though? No, no issues at all. That's awesome. I know speaking from Sorry. personal experience and my little couple of cluster setup, I didn't have any issues with the upgrade, especially with the operator. Uh, we called this out in the last couple meetings that you specifically have to call out 4.0 stable, right, Matthias? We made that change with the operator. Yes, so uh, you you need to change the uh, release channel that the operator is pointing to. It used mm -hmm. to be latest, and now you have to switch over to the channel stable to get the 4.0 release. We did that because 4.0 is the breaking change that introduces the database. And if you if we would have just published 4.0 to the latest channel, everyone would just get that upgrade without manual intervention. So we wanted to make sure that everyone needs to to um, needs to do a manual action to consciously upgrade to the new database. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, I know that affects the automation too because I was working with Ansible and Agnostic V and all that. So it definitely worked on that side. You had to actually go and change all the values. I broke a couple of things, but I figured it out. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any issues. Again, if you have any issues, feel free to drop them in the chat. Uh, you can just don't swear at us. You can yell, use like <laughs> capital words, but nothing crazy. Uh, other than that, we are doing a roadmap. So the roadmap update is coming. We plan on doing this every six months. We did one in December. It's on YouTube. I can post the link if anybody's interested as well, or you can go find it. Um, but yes, so roadmap updates coming, especially the 4.0 release. I think people want to know, you know, what's the plan for the next year and a bit. Obviously, with roadmaps, everything is scheduled or subject to change. But if there's something specific that you want to see, I think now's a chance, right? The the PMs, well, they do have their wish list. Also, want to hear from the community what that wish list is. If you go and open an issue, those do make their way back to the PMs as well. So love to hear from you. And then Matthias, I think you might have some news on the next release that's coming out. Yeah, we, we're done talking about 4.0. We're on to the next one now. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 super interesting to see that. I mean, to be honest, I think 4.0, the upgrade to 4.0 is one of the most well-tested upgrades we ever did because we just want to make sure that it really works as intended. So uh, with that said, still, I'm super happy to see that uh, it's 
as far as I can tell, looking rather good for everyone. Um, hopefully, I didn't jinx it. <laughs> but that said, uh, 4.0 uh, is basically out of the door. And what we are doing is the next release, so 4.1, is planned for end of June. So the code freeze for that will be 7th of June. And then with some buffer to actually settle things and cut the release. So if you have, if you know about any breaking changes or bugs that really need to be fixed now, please let us know as usual through the Red Hat support channels, ideally, so we can adequately react and uh, prioritize. Uh, that said, so for one release, uh, I don't know if we have really super big changes incoming, but I would argue uh, we can also discuss this in the next community meeting. Yeah, I think that's the plan for more detailed breakdown next month, but it'll definitely be better. I know end of June makes sense just from, I think, a vacation standpoint too for the world, at least for the USA portion. Uh, <laughs> and being in Canada, it's always nice to have that first week of July uh, a little bit less hectic. So I have a feeling it's either going to be end of June or probably second week in July. Most likely not going to be doing releases when people are on vacation, right? Uh, but that's me and my magic ball. If any of the PMs <laughs> are watching, don't uh, come after me. Uh, other than that, I think that's that's all we had for updates. I appreciate everybody who's commenting in the channel when I'm not watching because I see some people that are, people are becoming ACS experts down there now. Um, I think one of the cool features that we get asked about is the GitOps policies. So managing RBAC, managing different policies, you know, it's typically through the API. We are working on a solution and I hope to have something more concrete once we do the roadmap next month. So stay tuned for that because we do get a lot of questions on that topic specifically. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. Matias, anything else I'm missing uh, that you want to talk about before we wrap it up? Not that I'm aware of, but I think we also have another uh, event coming up, right? Oh, yeah. I got to put a, a punch in. for So Summit is obviously next week. We're doing a couple demos. Uh, Platform Plus, ACS, especially the cloud service that's launching next week. I can say that here. Yeah. In limited uh, availability, yes. Limited availability. Yeah. So uh, you can pay for it soon we have some other interesting things that are coming out so just stay tuned i don't want to give away too much but i'll post the demos and uh, a couple of the sessions after summit obviously is a paid thing for red hat customers and i'm pretty sure it's like almost sold out now so or you can still get tickets but anyways if you're interested in going and you want to meet me just ping me on slack i'll be around and i'm i know boston pretty well so if you want to get a drink go somewhere to eat go check out a show let me know Cool. And then I think that the next event is KubeCon. That's probably the next one that we'll be at. So stay tuned for some announcements for that one as well. All set? All right. Let's do it. So until next, what, what do we have? June, the second Tuesday in June? What is yes. that? I'm doing my quick calendar. It is going to be June 13th. I will update the Slack channel and my fellow co- chair slash manager of stack rocks matthias mettinger and i will be there dane thanks for coming and uh yeah have a great rest of your week cheers everyone thanks <laughs>